afternoon. Yeah. Would you like to win a competition? Would you like to win a competition? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so today I'm going to share with you winning competition. Is there really a secret formula? My name is Yong Shifai. So I'm a senior lecturer actually in University Technology Malaysia. In fact, I did my degree here just like you guys. 1997. How long was that? Only 21 years ago, right? So I did my master, then I become a senior lecturer, and yeah, here I am. I have co-founded five companies. Uh, some of the companies that I did is uh, we build robots for industry, we saw all the way around the world. And my team and myself have an opportunity to win more than over 100 awards in sport, innovation, design, and entrepreneurship. Today is really, we're going to talk about this and how can we help you uh, to win a competition if you have not done so. So this was me when I was still young and slim, you know. <laughs> and um, I got inspired to join this hockey, not because of the hockey, but because of my neighbor is a Malaysian representative and he played for Olympic. And I got inspired not because of the Olympic, because of he always wear the t-shirt with a Malaysia at the back. I wanted to represent Malaysia, that was my inspiration. I went for the hockey, I trained with the Malaysian coach, and so I, 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 I became quite good. I became quite good, I, I represent school, district, club, I got one day the hockey ball just hit my eyeball. And then all of a sudden the doctor say, hey, young, you almost got blind. You know what your dad say? No more hockey. <laughs> so I stopped playing hockey, but I'm the one that cannot sit down quietly, I, I just want to try out again to represent Malaysia. So what I did was, the next one is I play softball. You know, again, not that quite good, but Along the way, we win competition, and I really like that kind of a feeling. You train so hard for like a couple of months after you join the competition, meet people, get an award, it's like, wow, that's feeling. And I start playing badminton again, and all this time. But then I got an SCL, acromial ligament torn. I got a surgery for six months, and all of a sudden, I can't do sport. I can't represent Malaysia. I can't become Dato Li Chong Wei. So then, well, I, I join other stuff. I, I, I do innovation in competition. I built robot back in 2002, and I start to win award. And in 2003, I uh, represent Malaysia in Robocon and I represent Malaysia to Bangkok. That is the first time I wear a shirt with a Malaysian and boy at the back there. I'll show you the picture later on. Then a lot of things doesn't stop and I like to join competition now. It's a bit of different purposes because of the feeling, because of the segment, because of the knowledge, because of the friend that I met. And this is uh, robot climbing. I won 4,000 ringgit. And this is a Philly Young Inventor Challenge back in 2005, Korea Inventor Award, British Invention Award. And this is all sort of the Microsoft Imaging Cup. Then I got a My Innovacy for 50,000, Innovation Malaysia for 5,000, Pride for 2,000. And this is Robocom, we basically won most, won most all the awards. Uh, the, the, the first prize, second prize, and basically all of them. <laughs> then Innovation Malaysia, just last year, my student won it, and then we actually represent Malaysia again to Manila and to a few countries. And uh, then I start to challenge myself to do business as the academic, as the engineer, business is like totally an uh, unknown area. So we joined, again, I like joint competition, so I joined again, we won Epita Award, and I got two free tickets to Silicon Valley, not one time, but twice. Uh, international competition, Universal Robot Award, from Alliance Bank, and uh, even from the Ministry of Higher Education, I won a Best Mentorship Award. And just end of last year, I went to uh, London for two weeks, and uh, there's a pitching competition, I got first prize. And basically, I won more than over 100 awards, thank you. And uh, today I thought it's not really about me, I think it's about you. How can we win a lot more competition, right? That is what we want. So the first question you want to ask is why you want to join a competition? A lot of people ask me, Young, why you want to join the competition? Remember why I want to join the competition? Because of the shirt that have a Malaysia at the back, right? <laughs> but there's a lot of a reason, you need to find that reason if you want to join. First and uh, foremost, of course for the certificate for the trophy, for the money, some of the um, competition that I joined because it's 50,000, man. If I can win that 50,000, you can do so many stuff. Knowledge. I want to learn the known knowledge. You join a competition, you can learn that within two weeks or even five days, rather than you need to spend one or two years to learn a new knowledge. If you are doing a business, startup, actually, it gives you a very good feedback and validation. The judge are experts, so they give you constructive feedback so that you can really polish up your product to be commercialized. And of course, satisfaction and KPI. If you KPI, for example, you are the student, maybe the lecturer asks you, okay, you need to join this competition, okay? If you have a papa and mama, they ask you to join a spelling bee competition and all sorts, right? So, there's a reason for you to join a competition. Again, I just rephrased, this was my t-shirt that I won back in 2000, not this is back, but I have a shirt, they have a Malaysia here at the back there, and thing doesn't stop, and I got a lot of them already. <laughs> um, so, 
Then a lot of people come and say, Yong, you keep on winning the competition. Is there any secret that you can share off? You know what I say? I say, no. Try to imagine a good friend of you come to you and ask, do you have a secret to join? And I just say, no. They was like, Yong, don't cheat lah. Good stuff must share together, you know. I was like, okay. I came back to my house. I talked to my wife, Dr. Eileen here. Then I say, hey, my friend and all the students come and ask me how to win the competition. Then I was like, okay, I, let, let's think about that. Then I think, think I say, then we say, okay, we got six simple secrets. <laughs> so guess what is the first one? Guess what is the first one? Is it a product? Is it an innovation? Is it a teamwork? What is it? A is register first. <laughs> Come on, you want to win a competition but you don't want to register. Hey, young, young, why you win this uh, competition? They ask, do you join? Oh, no. <laughs> then the next question, normally the student or the peer are going to ask me, how do you know all this competition? You won't, okay, of course you won't win if you do not register. There are so many things out there. Did you really go for it? Did you try to... Uh, expand yourself to look into this kind of a competition, you can subscribe to the so-called mass media, Facebook, LinkedIn, and there's a lot of competition actually try to reach you, okay? So there are tons of a competition out there, right? First mindset, register first. What's the next one? Mindset. A lot of students, a lot of my peers join the competition for the sake of what? I would say this is a little bit negative. I participate only for experience, okay? Some else has more experience, we won't have a chance. No, no pressure, just join for fun. Opponents have Bill Gates to support. No way we can beat them. So you don't really would push yourself. You just say, just join for fun, right? Also thinking, I want to win this competition. I need to work harder to overcome their, them and how to beat them. In the other way, it's more indirect. You would think that organizer is so pitiful. They organize this kind of an event just like the X. I want to provide a very good quality uh, entry so that to repair back them. So this is one kind of a positive mindset, right? You have to see very far and you have to think like a winner. I'm an engineer by background. I'm from Malaysia. I couldn't speak English. I did my PhD in Imperial College London. I have no idea what's design. What is my chance to join a poster competition to win it? And I got first prize. What is my chance to join a British invention show in London where the participants are from the US, the Korea, the Hong Kong and so on? I got first prize. World Invention Award, Diamond Award and Gold Medal. So you really need to put a positive mindset when you want to join a competition. So, robot climb, think like a winner. This robot competition is very simple. You basically need to build a robot to climb up and down. And they give a specification duration of three minutes, right? So, when I said that, you might think, Young, I'm going to build a robot for maybe 2.5 minutes or three minutes, right? The moment I finish the rules, you know what I say? I say the robot needs to finish in less than 10 seconds. We already set the target. We build a robot, the robot run exactly about four to six seconds, and we got first prize. And our other component that try to join the competition, their robot run about 2.8 or 3 minutes, even cannot finish. You have to see very far and you, like, you, really, like to, you really like to think like you are the winner. This is uh, another interesting story, so that's what changed me. I joined Robocon in 2002. We got second, which is a brilliant uh, achievement, but at the same time, also actually we aim for the champion. Reason being, because if we win it, we're going to represent to Japan. So we built the robot for five and six months. We only slept like four hours in a day. Hard work, no money, and et cetera, et cetera. And I even told my mom, mom, don't do anything in August because I'm going to Japan. Then my mom asked me, are you sure or not? I said, yeah, 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 I'm sure because I have full confidence to the robot. So we joined the competition and well, we got second. Then my mom asked me, hi, son, how's your Japan trip? <laughs> oh my, you know, I don't know how you feel. I really feel sad about that, but again, I spent six, seven months so hard work and then I guess that I couldn't achieve to go to the Japan. Should I continue? Should I try it again? Okay, I tried again in 2003. I become an instructor. Then I told myself that I must win this competition. I got the award. Now the next question. I get my achievement. The Malaysia shirt with the Malaysia at the back. Should I continue? And I continue for the next four years as an instructor for the Robocon team. And represent, yeah. So, the next one is really about strategy, okay? Know yourself and know your enemy, a hundred better for a hundred better one. This is very important and I really like it. For example, there's another competition you want to join because the 10,000 ringgit a trip to Holland. So myself and at that time, my girlfriend, Dr. Eileen is here. So we built a wonderful product called Beat Me. Basically, it will alert you when the bus will arrive, okay? And uh, the product itself, I think, is quite cool. But that is how many years ago? 
but we try to make ourselves a little bit different from others because we want to win the prize. So you can see the prototype there. It's quite a unique. We spend so much time on the prototype. Then in the presentation, we do a lot of animation. And to cut the story short, we won it. 10,000, go to Holland, okay? But the story is, I want to win the second time the next year. What is my chance? Other universities have seen the strategy that we're using. Can we use back? So what did I do differently this time? A year before, I joined one. We got one. We went to Holland. The next year, we submitted 22 applicants rather than one. Out of the 100, they only chose 12. From the 12, we got seven shortlisted. For the seven shortlisted, they don't allow us to send one to the competition because they want to buy the right away. They give you 5,000 ringgit for that. For the six, we go for the pitching just like what you've seen earlier on. And we won again the grand prize and we went to China, 10,000 ringgit. And this is a talking glove that we did. And one of the guys there was my co-founder of my, one of my startup company. Yeah. Same product, different strategy, different outcome. This is in Inatex. So I joined the competition, we pitched, and uh, I just put a poster there, and then a robot and so on. I, I have a lot of what I didn't put because I think it's not necessary, and I got a silver. Then next to me is a very famous professor. When he did present it, I was like, wow, it's amazing. He prepared all Star Wars stuff. Like when the judge is coming, they put a chair there, and then they have everyone has a file. So then I said, I need to do that. So the next year, no, sorry, actually the next couple of months, I joined another competition called MTE. I not only put a poster there, I bought another two bunting, a lot of a trophy, a lot of a files, and I got go for the International Innovation Competition. So the, the following one is actually a teamwork. Again, best team is all members have different skills. Together, everyone achieve more as a TEM stands for. And then time management. As you know, time is our most precious resources. In the other words, you've got to really plan for it. You can just uh, use a simple one, right? Like a Sir Vincent Sutcher said, he who, he who fails to plan is planning to fail. So you can use this. I really like to use a Google Calendar uh, to track whatever you are doing. And finally, it's a determination. Really, do you really want to win this competition? How bad you want to win this competition? Will you sacrifice your sleep, your holiday, computer game, etc., just to win the competition? I mean, I give you an example. Back in 2009, I couldn't speak English like just now. It's not that I'm right good now, but you know, pitching competition is you need to spend three minutes to pitch and try to win, number one. And I won first in 2011, 12, and 2014. In 2014, I submitted two, and I got one, the first prize and the best prize, and sent me to Silicon Valley. And if you look into this Robocon, you don't get to sleep so well because you really want to win the competition. The other one is a robot partner. It's a very interesting competition. Basically, I need to build a robot, like a service robot. They can talk, they can do a lot of stuff, vacuum clean, and so on. But I only have a limited budget. If you can see that, I spent a couple of ringgit for the head and a vacuum cleaner. I stole some of the stuff from the university and so on, and to build the robot. So things work very well. A day before the competition, I can try the robot until 5 p.m. Things work brilliantly. Just before 5, the robot just went dead. I was like, oh my, what happened? Should I stop? So I tell to the organizer saying that, hey, the robot worked perfectly yesterday, but not today. Or should I just continue? I'm the one that cannot give up. I would just say I, will, I need to try my best. So what I did was uh, I tried to bring the robot down, you know, to the shopping mall Mid Valley. I can't bring the robot down. The circuit will stop me. They say that this is a robot. It's a safety issue. So myself and my wife need to actually disassemble all the robot to bring down to the lobby, try to get a taxi. Then the taxi stop us as well because the taxi is too small. We get a big, bigger taxi, finally we reach hotel. To cut the story short, then the vendor that I called up, I said, hey, I got this issue, what should I do? Then I say, then the vendor say, hey, Young, we're going to send you the replacement, okay? Next week. I was like, no, I can't wait next week. The competition is tomorrow. Then they say, why don't you try to so uh, download the software? So I went to a nearby uh, cafe. This is like 10 over years ago, uh, there's no 3G. Uh. So download the software, uh, in a nearby cafe, get back to the computer, try out, confirm it doesn't work up. It's already 8 p.m. What should I do? Should I continue? Should I stop? So I didn't stop. I go to a nearby computer, buy a printer plot, boot, open up it, do a lot of electronic, program the robot. The next day, show to the cloud, uh, show to the competition, and I won first prize for this. So this is really associated to what I'm trying to share with you. Right now, let's say you are in Kuala Lumpur. You want to go to Singapore, what can you do? You can take a flight, right? What else? Car, bus, or maybe train. Is there any other method? You can take the boat, actually. 
you can take a bicycle, or even you can walk, right? But is there any other way? Have you pushed to the limit? In fact, you can take the train to Malacca, bus to Johor, walk to Singapore, and take an MRT to Singapore, okay? Another example that I share from the day, uh, from early on. This is me. I want to represent Malaysia. I want to get a shirt that have a Malaysia emblem at the back. What I did, I tried to play hockey, I tried to play badminton, I tried to play football, I tried to play softball, I tried to play basketball, but I'm a bit too short, you know. I tried to get into innovation, I almost get there. I tried to do pitching, almost uh, I got the, ch the chance, but finally what is really the road is not as straight as you can see. It's actually, I learned the teamwork from the hockey, I actually learned the fast reaction from the badminton, I learned a lot of innovation, techno technical, technology, and finally Robocon that allowed me to win my very first shirt with a Malaysia at the back. So, winning competition, is there really a secret formula? Yes or no? Yes, no, yes, no, it's actually a no. The one that you seen earlier is all like a guy, everyone know about it. So what makes you different? What makes make me different? It's all about hard work, determination, and maybe some luck, right? So still remember this one? Right now you are there, where you want to go. Forget about all the road that you are, you are going to face, you're going to face it anyway, okay? You have a gazillion of option to reach where you are now to where you want to be. But first, you need to make your first move. Okay? And still remember, I say my reason of joining a competition, last time was because of the shirt, money, maybe sometimes I want to meet some celebrity and so on. But right now, I want to win competition because I want to inspire you. I want to inspire students. Are you got inspired? Excellent. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And I hope that you're going to win a competition and you're going to inspire other people. Let the Reaper start today. Thank you very much.